I greet you in Jesus' precious name. Welcome to the program. As you can see behind me, the maize crop is ready for harvest. It is golden unto harvest. And the workers are few. We need to pray. I want to pray right at the beginning of this message for you and for me. Let us pray. Father, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts would be found acceptable unto thee, our Lord and our refuge. Amen. Well, there we have it. If we go to the book of Proverbs, I must say I love the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs chapter 30, and I'm reading two verses, verse 8 and verse 9. Remove falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food allotted to me, lest I be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. To be full and to be hungry. What is it to be? I want to say to you, sometimes it is harder to handle success than it is to handle failure. It really is. I remember reading a, 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 a beautiful little uh, story not so long ago where the writer says it's a dangerous thing sometimes to come across prosperity. You know, you get a man who's just an ordinary common farmer and he's working away and all of a sudden he gets a phone call that some distant uncle died in Australia or some far off country and he's now inherited a hundred million rand or dollars, whatever. It changes him in an instant. Very few men can handle that. You know, you always hear those stories from the lottery, don't you? People who win the lotto, the lottery. And overnight, it just absolutely destroys them. They can't handle it. They don't know how to manage the money. They've got all kinds of people chasing after them, asking for help. They've got no peace anywhere. Their own family turns against them. Why should you have all that and we've got nothing? And they become very lonely. That's why often you'll hear a person say, I'd rather be poor, okay, than to be rich. You see, folks, a rich man needs to understand how to handle his money. That is why if you get a man who starts off at the bottom and slowly but surely works himself up and he takes his children with him, then they understand how to manage money because they had nothing and they made it through the sweat of the brow. That's different. But if you just inherit it, and I want to say maybe there's a couple there who've got children and you're very uh, successful in what you're doing, be careful you don't spoil your children by overcompensating. They need to appreciate and understand about the value of things. You know that little bee? I'm a beekeeper. You know that little bee? He will fly five kilometers to go and find pollen. And he'll come back. You know, in his whole lifetime, he only makes one teaspoon of honey. That's why when I'm in a restaurant and I see a young child throwing food around, my heart gets very heavy. That child has no idea how much blood, sweat and tears it took to produce that meal. Let us value what we've got. Let us thank God, Lord, please pray that we don't have too much that we forget you and we don't have too little that we have to steal and deny you. Let us rather just be satisfied with what we've got. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.